Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill, and today I'm doing another Trying to Stand series for you. Next week, I will be back doing another Gaga, but I wanted to try someone new this week. My sister has kind of gotten on my case about discovering this artist, and I figured I'd, I'd try it out, shake things up a bit, adding more to the Trying to Stand series. I'm not even sure I'm gonna say this right. Billy Eilish? Elliot. Eilish. I think it's Elish. Elish? E I L? Eilish. Boom. Billy Eilish. This is bad guy. Guessing by the views, this is a hit. Taking out my Invisalign, and this is the album. <laughs> How old is she? And she took out her Invisalign again. Both my ah! It's just so puff guy. It's a lot of dad bods. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Ah! Exorcist crawl! Exorcist crawl! She just blink just once? Duh. Huh. Whoa. Where are we now? I like when you get mad. Is she okay? I want you to guess how old she is. 15? Oh, she's 17. She's 17? Yeah. Okay, maybe it was the blue hair. God, if you were to put adolescence in a bag and put a backtrack to it, that's it. I don't know how I feel right now. At first I thought it was about her parents and rebelling and growing up. Then it took like a weird, dark, like sexual turn in the red room of danger with, with the Hot Topic collar on. I didn't hate it. It just, it's a very specific emotion. I like how her voice sounds though. I like how breathy it is, the visuals of her energy energy being so high when this song is so low. Damn, something here went over my head. I guess this was from, oh, this just happened. This is from her new album. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, I didn't hate it, I didn't love it, but it, it definitely has me intrigued. Okay, uh, next we have Bury a Friend. This is also from this year. Did she just happen? I've never heard of her. Me neither. Back. Step on the glass. Whoa. Your tongue, uh, I wanna end me. Whoa! Damn! God, her eyes are haunting! When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Listen. She is way too young to be having such intense, deep, dark thoughts. Good for her. Honestly, I thought that I would be dead by now. Damn! Good. And me. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Dude, is this kid okay? Wow! Oh my god! Like, good for her. That one I really liked. It's sort of really jarring because, like, a lot of these themes seem to be really heavy. Addiction and manipulation and aggressive behaviors both done onto you and done to others. And if she's 17, like, what, what happened to this kid? That one felt dark but a little more, like, universal. Intense visuals and subject material. Her full name is Billie Eilish Pirate Bear. I'm sorry, what? Billy Eilish Pirate Baird. O'Connell. I would so be an artist if Pirate was one of my middle names. I really liked that one though. I felt like it really had a nice sound to it, but then on top of that, it also hit on a relatable feeling. This playlist is so specific though. Like I gotta be in the right zone to be listening to this, but I, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like it's not in me. Huh. I'm still like super thrown off by this. This one I guess was like one of her first ones because it says 2016. It's called Ocean Eyes. Those ocean eyes. Yeah, I really like her voice. I just wish she would blink. Ooh, that's so cool. It's like a Nightmare on Elm Street kind of vibe. Okay. Like with the color on her fingers and everything, like it's it's like she's a lost child, like trying to create. I'm scared. Damn it, I really liked that. Wow, that one was so different. Like not to say I didn't like the other ones, but this one, like you got a lot more of, of her voice. I don't know, there was something about it that was so, it was it was almost abstract, but then when you start listening to it, it's it's almost like she's she's upset that she's falling for someone when there's so much else going on with her. I don't know what to expect here. I like what she does with her voice. I like how like soft and almost fluid it feels. But again, like it's so it's so surprisingly heavy. Like I I hope she's just okay and is just like a really good writer, like a really creative person. And I hope she's just 
okay, but I also wish that about everybody. I've seen a couple, they say vertical videos, so I'm assuming like a phone, like when you hold a phone up the wrong way, grandpa style. There's only one way to find out. Only one way to find out, but I'm, I'm really starting to get into these, especially the horror imagery that I've been seeing in the 2019 stuff. She was doing like the Exorcist spider crawl, she had like the last exorcism up like this, ocean eyes, she had the Freddy Krueger hands like through the sheet, like the wall of the bedroom. I Maybe it's just me, I don't know if that's intentional or not. All right, now we're gonna do, oh, it's all one word. Why do you do this to me, kid? You damn teens and your music. I don't want to be you anymore. Vertical video. Ooh. Damn, I really like that one too. I really like the music. Damn, like that was, it took me to a place where for a while I thought like it was specifically about depression, but then really sitting there listening to it and like just how broken somebody could be. There's there's nothing more that you can tell yourself that you don't already know. Does she, so does she write the lyrics? There's no way like a 17 year old can already have like a handle on articulating these kind of feelings. Like that's insane. Like I'm so envious of that. There was something about it that was just, it was very mesmerizing and this one had a very lulling sense to it and just that like captivating on that brain melty feeling you know like when you're just kind of kind of like moving through like that helpless mental vibe it looks like she and really her producer have most of the writing credit so it's pretty much her it's her and her brother oh is that her brother i guess that's what my that's what brian told me brian you better be right this is going on youtube Whew. Like, give me that and a cigarette any day. Don't smoke, it's bad for you. But you know what I mean? Every song is different. And I'm really enjoying that. Like, I'm not sitting here and I'm like, oh, this was the one about the eyes, or this is the one about being the monster under someone's bed and wondering where we go into the afterlife. Like, I like how they're all very different. That's how I picture a modern noir dive bar. Like, that's the kind of music I'd expect live. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, Sin City when the action's not happening, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, next we're doing You Should See Me in a Crown, also a vertical video. Also a Sherlock reference. Oh, it is. I don't know if that's... <laughs> Connection confirmed. I'm convinced <laughs> it's a Sherlock reference. You should see me in a crown. <laughs> oh, it's a spider crown. I mean, I don't mind spiders. They're good for you. Don't, don't. It's gonna go in her mouth. See me in a crown. I'm gonna win this nothing to you should see me in the crowd. Oh, it came out of her mouth. Crowd. Your silence is my favorite sound. That one might be my favorite so far. That was so empowering. It's like, it's like that, it's, it's like, this is so hard to articulate. Which again, I'm so jealous because she super can. Maybe I just feel like I'm just so out of my element. You know? You should see me in a crown, like see me in my element, like see me being a master of what I am, being in control, demanding someone take your worth beyond face value. I feel like it was also about embracing your faults. I don't know, but I really, <laughs> damn, that one really got me. Like take out the spiders, I think I just would have flat enjoyed myself. Instead I was scared she was gonna eat a spider and she did. I can't believe how different all these songs are. And I think that's incredible. Like she doesn't feel like a one trick pony. Like even, even her voice. Yeah, they're gonna, obviously they're modulating a lot. Different emotions are invoking different inflections and intentions just vocally. Mm -hmm. And then the music too, like there's times where it, it really comes in waves. There's times where it just hits you really sharp. And I, I love that I can't peg down what she does. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the star is honestly, the lyrics to me. Damn. Your mind is blown <laughs> your face right now. Yeah. Don't know I'm no good for you. Ooh. To stop you oh, she got dumped. Stop Ooh. Damn. Oh no. Oh, damn. Oh, it's okay, kiddo. Damn it, I, <laughs> why do I like that song? Like, I'm worried for me now. <laughs> like, that's so upsetting, but I was just like, like falling back into like the, the cold, sad, dark tide of just, 
someone else's pain. Maybe it just makes you feel validated when when you feel that way too. The affirmation that it's it's normal to feel that devastated. I don't know, there's just something about the willingness to accept that something's either, something or someone is bad for you. Putting on the front of like, you know, I'm okay, I like my life like this. Denial. There's just something so like mesmerizing and haunting. I don't know. I don't even know if I have a video here. Like, have I, have I said anything in the last, like, 20 minutes? Yeah. This last one I was sent is uh, called Lovely. God, I don't know if I'm okay right now. Okay, that one was my favorite. Like, hands down, that one was my favorite. That had such a strong pulse to it. I, it, it connects with like this weird, like this more visceral part of who you are. The music in it too, and then like how she mixes with his voice, like both of them were just, ugh. Like you, it, 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 I can't think. But it, like, I, she can't even vote yet. Like, that one, I, I really like, I, the urgency to it. That was just growing throughout this song. Like, I've never wanted so bad for a music video to go a different way than it did. Like, I wanted them to smash the box instead of get frozen and trapped in it. But, I mean, that's reality. I feel like I'm still lost in this wave of, like, trying to understand the visuals. And maybe it'd be better if I just listened to the audio straight next time. That scary, creepy, dark, horror-esque vibe. I love it, but damn, it's the crap out of me. It's, I think it's because she's so young. Like, I think that's just what scares me. Teenage girl getting like stabbed in the back with syringes and like, you know, grabbed around, you know, gloved hands and stuff. I think that just makes it scarier. And I think that's kind of the idea. But I also, I love the fact that she's not like sexual. God, I don't know how to feel right now, but I'm, I really like her music. I think it just, it puts me into this place where I'm trying to make sense of it instead of just trying to enjoy it. So maybe I'm, I'm overthinking a lot of it. And again, I love the versatility of it, but it always hits this like, this dour tone. It's like anti-pop. You know, every day is a wonderful adventure and a dream. And you know, we're all fireworks, not plastic bags. It's real. You know what I mean? Like it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's authentic, it's genuine, as opposed to just, you know, eat a lollipop and just go for it. Like it's- <laughs> Eat a lollipop and just go for it. I don't know, there's, there's something about how just honest it is. Like not everything's going to go your way. Like you are gonna have these existential crises and, and questions and you're never gonna get answers to them. Like there's, there's stories that don't have an ending or if they do have an ending, it's not always happy. Like there's something about it that just feels like an observation of human experience as opposed to a glorification of human experience. It's nothing I've ever seen before. And some of these songs, like I would definitely like, when I'm in that right mood, like this would definitely just put the cherry on top of my like dour gray someday. <laughs> I would definitely want to do more of this if any of you guys wanted me to. If you like this video, please be sure to like it, subscribe if you want more. I'm definitely doing more of my Trying to Stand Lady Gaga series moving forward. I'm doing part four next week, so please check those out if you haven't. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions of other artists, and if you have more suggestions of Billie Eilish songs you want to have me listen to, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.